I really don't like black floors because you can't tell sometimes if the floor is even or not. Oh man. So I come out here to Beach Road and I catch the the bot van. Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs> And I'm gonna take the bot van down to the ramen store. It's about 20 cents. Yeah, it's about 20 cents, 25 cents a ride. get off and just hit the, the buzzer. the guy was all the way on the wrong side of the road then you get off and you come up here and you pay so he was all the way on the other side of the road and when I pressed the button he, he, he came almost a half a block down before I could get off I can't see, I got my sunglasses on. I heard a woman's voice. She looks cute, but could be a lady boy. All I know. This is where I am going. I saw this the other day. I have no idea. But it looks so appetizing, the ramen place. So I'm gonna try it.
Okay, I just ordered this ramen here. I have no idea what it is. But I like my ramen. I like the red ramen or what would look like red sauce. And then I ordered it's a green tea. Unsweet green tea. That's I didn't know I ordered that, but that's good. I like unsweet green tea. I wish I knew what all this miso. I know what miso is. I've had miso before, miso soup, but not miso ramen. At least I know what the flavor is. Oh, you can get a side of, I'm, I'm not gonna get a side, I'm just gonna get it second. But that one has like, miso ramen it has a piece of chicken in there. That one has some shrimp. And that's ramen with, with rice. That's what I should have did. I should have added some rice. What I'm going to do, well, I'm going to try the ramen first. And then, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to order some, kind of look like shumai uh, dimples. <laughs> Anyway, dimples and rice. I'm gonna order this too. I wish I knew more about the ramens and the different flavors. I knew what I was ordering. But I've always wanted to have ramen at one of these places. It's always good to have someone bring you here. Oh, there you go. Oh man, that looks awesome. And I think this is chili. Put some chili peppers on there. Make it hot. Let me see what else. Oh. this too because I like spicy okay let's see how it tastes okay I'm in there so I went for some of the it's like chili powder crushed chili powder I went for some of that I might need some more it's gonna be hot. And I also went for some of that. I put it in there already. So I gave it a taste first. Oh, it tastes so good. And then I put my spices in it so it'll be hot. Could be spicier. Could add some more spice, but this is really good. some more spice in it but I'm not going to overdo it because the flavor is so good and I want to enjoy the flavor of my first ramen in Thailand 
so I'm not going to put any more spices in it. It has a little bit of kick, which is good enough. I'm going to dig in now. Check out my chopstick skills. Not bad for a, a boy from Harlem, born in the 60s. Not bad. I got some skills with the chopsticks. And those are all, those are skills from living in Asia. Not practicing at the Chinese restaurant or whatever. Okay. That's enough. Gotta go. Wow. That's the finished product. That is the finished product. And it was absolutely delicious. I like how they have name tags. They have name tags on their shirt. But uh, let's see, this guy's name is named. Is that a 500? Sure is. So I gotta get a 20 body. Let me have that. Alright, I gotta leave a tip. But if you noticed, the server's name tag reads name. And that's his name. It's not a place. Uh, it's not saying the name goes here. No, that's his name. That's, yeah. Uh, okay. So, that was the ramen place. I was walking on this street last week looking for a Western Union. When I came back down the block, I noticed the ramen place and I said, you know, when I go back, I'm gonna go eat ramen over there one day. Go ahead. And that's what it looks like from over here. Azawa ramen.